we consume a lot. Just look at all of this. And as our population grows, we're only going to consume more. We are 7 billion. We are going towards 10 billion. That's a lot of mouths to feed. But how can we sustainably produce food to cope with this rising demand? The point is, if you want to feed everybody, and particularly with having much less impact on your environment, you will need more technology to do so, and not less. To understand this better, we need to get to the root of the problem. How our food is cultivated and nourished. Take fertilizer for an example. What to try to find an alternative to the reliance that farmers have today on uh, traditional fertilizers. Because traditional fertilizers can be very carbon intensive in their production process, and ultimately you have to use them a lot, which uh, results in uh, residues that can be harmful, particularly in the water supply. Because fertilizer is essentially stored in the soil until a plant's roots can go find those pockets of nitrogen. In the meantime, heavy rains and snow, the weather around us begins to wash that nitrogen away from the field. Excess nitrogen and its runoffs create large algae blooms and streams and waterways, which can be detrimental to natural ecosystems. In large quantities, these blooms produce excessive carbon dioxide and harmful greenhouse gases. So if we can eliminate excess nitrogen banked in the soil of our fields, we can remove the food source that allows those algal blooms to, to flourish. What we're trying to do at Pivot Bio is replace all of that. We do that with a probiotic, a microbe that lives inside of the roots of a plant, and it takes nitrogen out of the air and turns it into a form that plants can use. When they can breathe in the air and turn that nitrogen gas into ammonia, it can be spoon-fed directly to a plant on a daily basis. And none of it is ever stored or banked in the soil, subject to be washed away by the rain. It entirely replaces the need for using synthetic fertilizer and allows us to be able to have a more sustainable way to get those nutrients to the crop. And all of that means there's a much more efficient process that's better for a farmer's bottom line and ultimately better for the environment. This means that the crops of tomorrow can be efficiently harvested and sustainably produced at the same time. But what about our protein sources? Fish is actually the fastest growing form of animal protein. And that creates a problem because traditionally we have been getting our fish through fisheries, but today the demand is so high that we are overfished for the vast majority of species of fish that you want to eat. So aquaculture comes as a solution. The problem with aquaculture is that it's not completely unlinked from fisheries, as key species that you would eat as a consumer are carnivorous. You feed them with a fish meal. Which still contributes to overfishing. But these guys may be able to help with that. Well, insect is real opportunity because uh, it's very nutritious and it requires little resource to grow. At InnovaFeed, we develop technologies to produce insect-based nutrients for animal and plant nutrition. Our products combine high quality and high nutritional value, high digestibility. We've seen increase of above 25% in terms of survival rates. From the farmer's perspective, it means actually less for more. Less feed, so less cost, less carbon footprint, for more yield and better quality products. Climate change is a challenge of our generation, and we wanted to make a contribution to solving some of the greatest issues for our societies. But I think we share with the Temasek team the strong belief that disruptive technology will bring positive impact and will bring answers to some of our most difficult challenges in the years to come. But what we have seen over the last, uh, I would say, four years is an explosion in the number of startups led by young founders. 
they are clearly doing it because they are also from a generation where they are seeing today the impact around themselves of, of climate change. There's really no future in my mind for a company that does not put environmental and social impact on top of their agenda today. So for better or for worse, we need to do something because if we don't put those innovations at the top of the agenda today, then we're going to suffer the consequences within our lifetimes. 